Hello everybody and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today's video we're going to be looking at the lowest rated books that I have read according to Goodreads. If you missed my highest rated video that I did I will link it up here. Let's just get straight into it. Alright so my lowest rated book starts with a 3.27 rating according to Goodreads. And the first one that pops up is Across the Face of the World by Russell Kirkpatrick. Now this is book one in a trilogy that I just found I think at like Goodwill or something and it was like a clean fantasy series and apparently I liked it enough. These were really thick books by the way. Like they were a lot of pages and I read the entirety of like I think the first two books and then I kind of like skimmed the entire third book just to see how it ended. I don't really remember it. I did end up like unhauling that series at some point. It was just like a lot and yeah definitely something that I was like never gonna read again. Um, Under the Mistletoe, an undercover cowboy Christmas novella box set by Lisa Harris. These are just two little, like, Christmassy novellas. They were all right. I gave them three stars. Nothing special. Oh, no, I gave it two and a half stars. Sorry. I have a problem with the novella sometimes. Like, sometimes the romance or things will just happen, like, entirely too quickly. And that's just really common with the novellas because there's very few pages and you don't have a lot of, like, time to, like, let things play out in a natural, realistic way. So sometimes things are kind of rushed and... And I think that was my problem with this novella set. Crater by Homer Hickam. This is a sci-fi, like YA, and I want to say it's Christian. I can't really remember for sure. But yeah, I just came across this book and it just wasn't that interesting. I gave it two stars. A patron, patron saint for junior bridesmaids. Um, I don't really remember what happened, but apparently I enjoyed it enough to give it a four stars. First Date by Melanie Carlson. This is like YA, contemporary, like romance, teenage drama type stuff. It's in the Dating Games series. I don't remember if I read the whole series, but I read at least a couple of the books, but that one was alright. The Queen of Sleepy Eye. I DNF'd that one. I didn't even read it. I didn't. It was very boring. I didn't like it. The Fruitcake Murders by Ace Collins. This is set during Christmas time. Murder mystery. And I liked it pretty well, I guess. Four stars. I don't really remember it. Image in the Looking Glass by Jacqueline Cook. This is Christian historical romance. I read this with my friend recently, actually. Recently-ish. I Kissed Dating Goodbye by Joshua Harris. This one's not rated. I just have it read on here, but I really, I own this book, and I know there's a lot of controversy around it, and the author has, like, you know, since left, like, Christianity and all that stuff. I don't know what he's doing now, but this happened, like, a few years ago. It's a whole big thing. Um, but back when I first read this, I actually really liked it and gave it, like, five stars. You know, I didn't agree with everything, but there was some good stuff in there. You know, a lot of people said this book, like, ruined their life. So, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but I'm fine. Christmas at the Mysterious Bookshop by Perseus. This has, like, multiple authors and I ended up DNFing this one because I just didn't like all the language in it and so and I thought like I think I was only on like the second story or something or I might have just been on the first and it was also very boring so Broken Angel by Sigmund Brewer this book was like kind of weird and I did not like reading from the this um bounty hunter guy's perspective because he was super like twisted in the head and like evil and he would talk about like ways he was gonna like kill people and stuff and torture them and I was like so disturbed I hate reading stuff like that like I still remember one of the ways he described that he was gonna kill this guy I was actually thinking of this the other day I don't know what made me think of it and I was like so disturbed and I'm like to this day I wish I had never read that ever because now I have that image in my head and I wish I didn't Lucky in Love by Casey West um, this one was pretty good. I thought it was cute. This girl, like, wins the lottery, and it's just, like, the way she spends her money, and I think those stories are really fun, and it's fun to imagine what I would do if I won the lottery and how I would spend my winnings. Um, so this one was entertaining, and I thought it was cute. Off World by Robin Parrish. This was a very interesting, uh, Christian sci-fi. Definitely didn't, like, go the way I expected it to, and, yeah, it was unexpected but interesting. In the Earth Abides the Flame, this is part of that, um, Across the Face of the World series. I think this is book two, I guess. The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Weber. I really was disappointed in this one. I read the whole thing, and it could have been, like, really interesting, I feel like, but I didn't like some of the content that was in it because I went in expecting it to be, like, a cre clean Christian book, 
and maybe it was supposed to be Christian. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Um, the cover's really cool, but it just had like some content that like wasn't anything explicit, but y'all know I'm a little bit more picky with certain kinds of content and when there's like maybe suggestive stuff or just little things, I'm like, I, I don't like it. So I didn't like this one. I was really disappointed in some stuff that was in here. It's really windy. That kind of came out of nowhere. Anyway, U.S. Marshall Bass Reeves. This is a, like, Christian comic book, and it was very entertaining. It was the first ever comic book that I ever read, and it was about, um, it's kind of based, based on, like, a real-life person in history, and it was really interesting, and I enjoyed it. Give it five stars. The Realms They Are Under by Ross Lawhead. This is Christian fantasy, and I just found it kind of boring. Fresh Brewed Love. This is four novellas set around, like, a coffee shop, maybe, or something. And I just thought this one was very boring. I immediately unhauled it. The Holiday Swap by Nike Knox. This one I actually enjoyed pretty well. Um, it was... I didn't like some of, like, the language and stuff that was in it, but otherwise, um, I enjoyed it and I thought it was cute. Amelia and the Captain by Lori Copeland. So I really enjoyed this trilogy. This is, like, the Sisters of Mercy Flats, I believe it was called. And it's historical, like, Christian romance, and it's about these three different sisters. The other two I read before I had Goodreads, so they're not on here. I just have this last one on here. But I remember liking the other two, and one in particular I really liked, and I'd be interested in rereading them. But this one, like, I just did not like... There was, like, a scene in here that was, like, making me uncomfortable. Meet Me in the Margins by Melissa Ferguson. I'm so sad this is in some of, like, the lowest rated. I mean, it's 3.63. Almost four stars. I loved this book. I thought it was, like, so good, and it was fun. Funny, and it was a cute, light-hearted romance book. Never Say Die by Carolyn Keene. This is like a Nancy Drew book. I don't know why there's no picture here. I think I still own this one. Yeah, I thought it was, it was average. Thunder by Bonnie S. Calhoun. This one was really interesting. I think it was like dystopian kind of. I never continued the series just because of content. There were just some things that I didn't like seeing and some stuff with the romance that was like a little bit too like um no so i didn't finish the series but like it was it was it was otherwise like an interesting series it could have been good the enlightenment of bees by rachel linden three stars i had originally given this one four stars but as it kind of sat with me um i do this a lot of times with contemporary romance i end up like bumping it down a little bit because i like forget it and i'm like i'm never gonna read that again port of swans by melanie dickerson it was okay i was a little bit disappointed in this one we're not going to talk about it bloodline by kathy oren peterson this one was a dnf but i just like it looked seemed like it was gonna be so good and then it was just like not good so i didn't finish it heart of danger another nancy drew book Again, it was just all right. A Life God Rewards for Teens. I read this so long ago, I don't even remember. I might have, like, I think I thought it was, like, okay at the time. Not, nothing special. It's nothing I would ever read again. Seal of the King by Ralph Smith. I actually DNF'd this one. This was, like, an indie published, like, Christian fantasy book. And the content in here was, like, I was, like, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Like, why are you doing this? This is not, this is so unnecessary. So yeah, I didn't finish that one. I don't recommend it personally. Digital Winter. I remember reading this book, but I don't remember what happened. Obviously, like, I enjoyed it at the time because I gave it four stars. Pathways by Camille Peters. This is a fairy tale retelling, and I think I gave this one two stars because I didn't like the way the guy was treating the girl. And he was, like, really bothering me. I did not like his behavior. I think that's why this one got such a low rating. It was, like, I don't like it. A Light in the Storm. This is a Dear America book. This one was so depressing. That's why it got such a low rating. It was so depressing. And, like, it just no one had happily ever after. And I was like, what is this garbage? Spark by Evan Angler. One of the worst books that I have ever read in my life. So this is part of, like, um, a Christian, like, dystopian series or whatever. And it was so good, and I loved it so much. I read this forever ago. So good. One of my favorite series. And then Spark came out, and I read it, and I was like... It was so, like, bizarre. The series just completely went off the rails in a different direction, and I was like, what is happening? What is this? Things never got resolved because the author never wrote the final book. And this was published back in, like, 2013. And the author just, like, fell off the face of the earth. Like, no one has seen or heard from him since. 
and it's a whole thing i did a whole video about it that you can watch up here it was very upsetting this book is horrible and i hate it so much like i just can't even invasion by john s lewis if you like ya sci-fi with like aliens and stuff and this kid goes to like this academy to learn how to fight aliens like you might like this one. Blind Date by Melody Carlson is part of that um, YA like romance teenage high school series. It was just all right. The Alliance by Julina Petersham. Petersham? An EMP has like put out all the power and like these Amish people and Englishers are having to like work together now to survive. And it was like kind of interesting but also kind of like depressing. Regency Brides by Kimberly Comeo. I really liked this novella collection. Like the stories, I don't remember each story individually but overall like it was really cute and it was clean and it was very entertaining and I liked it a lot. Anomaly. This was, this is a good like dystopian trilogy if you like Christian dystopian books. Secrets Can Kill and Circle of Evil, Nancy Drew books. Oh, I don't remember these specifically but... There's my ratings. Miles from Nowhere by Amy Clipston. I really like this trilogy. This is Christian, like, YA. I liked all of them, but I gave books two and three five stars, I believe. Book one was four stars. The Skim Map by Stephen Lawhead. Very interesting series right there. If you like Christian fantasy with time travel-like elements, you might check this one out. Jane of Austen. This is like a retelling of like Sense and Sensibility but like modern day and stuff and I was not a huge fan of this one. I think I read this before I actually read Sense and Sensibility though so I didn't really understand like the references or anything. Nightmare City by Andrew Clavin. This one was like not as exciting as it sounded on the back. Like it sounds like it would be so cool and exciting and also like kind of scary but it just like wasn't. It was just kind of like meh. It started with Goodbye by Christina June. This is kind of, I, if I'm remembering right, this was supposed to be kind of like a Cinderella retelling, but like modern day with teenagers. And I actually thought this one was cute. It's just like a clean contemporary romance. But I don't really remember it. Romanov by Nadine Brandes. Um, I've talked about this book. I've actually like unhauled it, but at the time I gave it four stars. I just, I wasn't really personally comfortable with the magic in it. Besides that, I loved the story and it was actually really good. And that's why I gave it four stars. Heartless by Anna Elizabeth Stengel. This one was interesting. This is like a Christian like allegory. It is like a fantasy and there's dragons and stuff. So that one was interesting. I would like to continue the series. I was gonna say like I don't really know like how far to go down in this video but my light has like died and I feel like it's pretty dark in here so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye.